So in this video, I'm going to discuss why uh, people think Brazil is the number one country for childbirth. So I had recently had a poll on my channel. Most of you are aware you participated. There was substantial amount of um, involvement. So appreciate uh, you taking the interest. And the question was, what's the best country for childbirth? The options were pretty interesting. I had specific reasons why I had those countries as choices. There were four options, US and Canada, obviously leading countries. A lot of people uh, dream to have a life in those countries. If their children are in those countries, they feel the children would have the best life possible. So those were the, the two top options. Uh, then there was Mexico and Brazil. Now there are some specific reasons why people uh, feel uh, differently and they think uh, better countries are Mexico and Brazil. So obviously those were the two other choices. Now out of these four choices, now I had a good idea what's going to win and uh, there's some obvious reasons why. But uh, interestingly, uh, people chose Brazil by twice the margin, meaning uh, Brazil stood at 41% and the second best option was just in the 20s. So really a difference of almost double um, of margin. So pretty interesting, pretty cool. Uh, the reason why these type of videos are important when discussing what the community feels is because you might have all the knowledge in the world regarding countries, the residency options, how they work, etc. I might give you all the knowledge regarding you know how to do a particular residency how to go about it etc but what's unique and what's really um, helpful is to get ground level perspective unique experiences of people so there's something that i or you may not have experienced but a few people being in that country may have experienced certain situations and it's always uh, i think it's always a great thing to learn from those experiences that's one of the main reasons why I not only keep track of all the immigration videos that are out there, but also a review and watch a lot of content that non-immigrants are experiencing in different countries. So when you have an experience, especially if it is safety related, it's some interaction with some government offices, a lot of people who are actually exploring these countries, irrespective of their knowledge about immigration, they have useful experiences to share which is quite important when you're considering uh, plan B residencies, etc. It teaches us a whole lot and I think it's very important. What's also important is uh, the people from the community, right? So you might not have a YouTube channel. That's not what you do, but you have extraordinary amount of experience, insights, uh, analytics, and you comment and it comes across as, um, as very important suggestions and feedback for the community. So I'm also going to uh, look at some of the reasoning or some of the comments that people have made. So if you uh, look at the poll and uh, if you haven't checked, uh, if you haven't participated in this poll, so I would highly recommend go to the communities tab on my channel, uh, voice your option, tell us or tell me what option you would choose uh, and also provide your reasoning why you feel that's important. It's always helpful for the community to know and grow. So now I'm going to provide my own assessment why people picked Brazil over other countries. Now, US and Canada, obviously Western countries, exceedingly the laws and the rules are becoming tougher and tougher and tougher, which is a good thing for a certain set of people. There are the people who feel very differently. They want to get away from that strict enforcement, you know, watch all the time. They want flexible and less stringent requirements and rules. Fair enough. Uh, they want to get away. So that's one reason why they want to avoid. You see a lot of people talk about renunciations, etc. They feel they want a more freedom based uh, place where all these rules are not overwhelming. All the requirements are not so overwhelming. It's not as stressful as it is, uh, you know, in some of the Western countries. So they tend to go away. So having a child in that country um, doesn't really suit what they're looking for or that's not the type of life they want to give to their children etc. So that's one reason why you would not obviously consider some of the very well established, very well developed countries in certain cases. So that's the reason why a lot of people don't prefer those two options. Now regarding Mexico and Brazil, there's one important connection between these two countries. If you 
have a child in one of these two countries, then it automatically gets your child citizenship by birth because they have that policy. And then what it also does is it allows you to apply for permanent residency, you and your family members, and then uh, have the time or in, let's say in case of Brazil, in super fast time frames, it um, makes you eligible to apply for that all important citizenship. So I'm going to discuss that a bit here. Uh, Mexico, uh, you can apply for your citizenship. If you have a child from Mexico, the time frame is two years, but with Brazil, it's drastically interesting. It's one year. So it's, it's really too good to be true. Kind of a situation where your child gets citizenship and there are three very big advantages why people prefer Brazil. But before I proceed further, this is not immigration advice. Of course, this is educational content. You can always reach us. We can, you know, we can address specific questions and escalate it to, or rather route it to the appropriate department. We can answer their question. Maybe you have a tax question, legal question, and accordingly, we can uh, take care of your um, uh, requirements. Now, one of the biggest benefits is your child obviously gets citizenship. Second benefit is that the child can never be extradited from Brazil. Now, obviously you don't want to create a situation or your child, you don't want your child to be in a situation where you know, he or she would need that. But this is like an added benefit. It's an insurance policy. Imagine you had this protection, right? So you don't always, you know, it's, it's not always your fault when something wrong happens. Sometimes it's just bad luck and things happen. So in that case, it gives you that added uh, benefit. Again, the intention is not to use it, but just having it obviously is better than not having it. The third very big advantage with uh, Brazil is that you instantly qualify and your family, you know, your wife, you, parents, etc. They qualify for immediate permanent residency, which is phenomenal, unbelievable. And beyond that, um, you uh, can then apply for your citizenship after one year. Now, this is in theory. Practically, things work a little slow. You obviously have to be a tax president and the whole application, the process is slightly bureaucratic, so it takes a little bit of time, but uh, you know, theoretically, that is the law, that is the rule. Again, not legal advice, but that is something that you should consider. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm suggesting one should uh, have a child in Brazil. Maybe you are already in the country or you're planning to move there anyways, and if you are in a situation where you're expecting, then it's important to know what you're getting uh, from where you are. Right. So the country is offering this. This is not something that's wrong or illegal to do. Uh, when you are in that situation, the country has certain benefits for you to avail. And in that sense, uh, this is obviously educational content where you are educated on this option. So these are some of the very obvious um, uh, situations or other the benefits of Brazil. Let's take a look at some of the comments and what people are saying. So some of the best hospitals in South America, uh, citizenship by birth and no citizenship based taxation in Brazil. Obviously, the citizenship based taxation in the US is a big turnoff for some people. Canada may implement it in future. Again, that's a constant worry that people have. So in that sense, Brazil does not have any citizenship based taxation. It does not, at least as of now, intend to do anything like that. And um, so that's that's a big benefit. Mexico would be a close second place. Obviously shows from the results that Mexico stands at number two, not only for this commenter, but also for uh, most of the other people. Uh, so, and regarding the hospitals, now it does have, um, I don't recollect the name on top of my head, but there is, people talk about one hospital in particular, which is very, very good, extremely good quality. One of the best hospitals that you can find for childbirth. The second commenter says Brazil, you get an easier path to citizenship. Uh, you get the freedom of mo movement under the Mercosur agreement. Obviously, that's really great. Uh, that's much more beneficial than what you get in Canada or Mexico would offer. Yes, the Canada and Mexico has the NAFTA, uh, which is limited in my opinion, especially in cases of Mexico. But with the Mercosur, you have more countries, more freedom of movement, and more things that you can do with that feature. To be treated as a local in Portugal, which makes EU citizenship simpler if you live there. 
So, yes, because uh, there are certain countries that uh, uh, recognize your background and your certain citizenships. So getting naturalized in other nations, Latin American nations, that's a big benefit of that a Brazilian citizenship would offer. U.S. is also a good option because it offers counselor protection. Absolutely, 100%. I think the U.S. counselor protection is the best counselor protection that you can get, especially during uh, the pandemic. You know, there's a good example. A lot of people stuck multiple places. The Afghan um, situation, a lot of Americans were airlifted and uh, securely brought back to their country. So if you, you know, again, based on how you use it, this is a very, very big advantage of the U.S. citizenship. Also, the money seems to be in the U.S., right? So U.S. Uh, has the maximum potential uh, of earning maximum rewards for you. So if your child is born in the U.S., if you're in the U.S., then obviously that's a big benefit. So there are pros and cons. It just depends upon what you're looking for. Uh, the other person I'm assuming he's saying about Brazil, citizenship for both kid and parents. Uh, again, Brazil, number one, Mexico, number two. Uh, the other commenter says, um, Brazil all day gives citizenship to both parents, uh, no foreign taxation laws, uh, excellent laws to protect citizens from extradition. Again, a point I covered. Again, this is very, very important. Uh, protection is extremely important. Now, when we talk about plan B options, one of the biggest things that we seek is protection and security and plan B. So your plan B should not backfire on you. Recently, there was a case of Andrew Tate establishing himself in Romania. He thought that was the perfect plan B. So when you're choosing your perfect plan B, you've got to really think twice. You've got to think deep. You have to think hard. I think I agree uh, with this commenter that um, Brazil does have great protection um, options. So that is my uh, assessment along with the community's feedback. Uh, again, as I said, if you haven't participated in this survey, well, go ahead and uh, participate and share your thoughts and your reasonings. It really helps um, everyone at large. And in case you are new to my channel, my name is Jay, and here we discuss investments that lead to residencies and citizenships and a whole lot more. So make sure you subscribe and like this video if you, uh, if you like this content. And until next time, you take care. Goodbye.